That's right. Yeah. yeah, so of the series of tribe, the Penan were the last group that I ever went to visit. Yeah. And it was really interesting because, like, you know, having been to 14 other indigenous groups around the world, I was becoming relatively um, confident at, at talking about indigenous issues, indigenous rights, also human nature and, and the things that I'd learned about uh, all these different ways of living. But when I went to the Penan, it was like I was suddenly... Sh I was, it was like when I got there, um, it was like there was something completely different about them and then all the other groups I've been with and all the other people I'd ever been with in my life. It was like that different. It was a complete sea change. And I couldn't put my finger quite on what that was. It was like they were incredibly different. And it was really hard for me to articulate because I didn't want to romanticize. But there was something that was really very, very um, unique about that group. And, um, and so when I decided later to come back and make a film about our connection to nature um, and a different way of existing in society, they, they were clearly the group that shone out to me as the starting place for this, this journey. And what was the time difference between the last, that last episode with Tribe and then you going I back? I don't remember. It's about six or seven years, maybe more, maybe even ten. I don't remember exactly. It was quite yeah. a while. Yeah. But in that time, they had gone through their own massive transition. And I knew about that because I'd stayed remotely in touch. And so when I first met them, they were nomadic hunter-gatherers, literally carrying everything that they own on their backs, wandering through the forest. They, they have their own landscape, which is like a couple of valleys, but they're, but they're nomadic within that space. So they, they're, they're very much flowing with the rhythms of nature, seeing where the trees are fruiting, where the, the boar are herding. And so that was their way of living. But... In that time, since when I first went and then when I chose to go back, they've now began to settle and turn to agriculture. So the sort of domestication um, and the manipulation of the environment was for the first time beginning to happen because they were being forced to because of the loss of their land from these uh, sort of uh, globalized forces. And I just thought that was an interesting time that in, in some way we've all been through. We've all been through that shift from... Um, nomadism and, and hunter-gatherer to agriculture and I start asking the question well what happened to us during that transition and that became in, in a way the sort of the container of the film that's one of the questions the first questions that we ask and the Penan offer us that slight insight into that 